But first, an off-duty Coco police officer is in jail after an hours-long standoff with Brevard County deputies. This all happened in Vieira, and investigators say it started with a woman calling 911. West Tuesday, McDaniel looks at what happened and how it was safely resolved. On video provided by a neighbor, pops are heard from time to time. Yeah, I heard it were maybe like 20, 30. 20 or 30 shots. Yeah, oh, over, over a period of time. A different neighbor who didn't want to give his name said those pops were shots. Mm -hmm and the Brevard County Sheriff's Office says several rounds were fired inside the home. The Brevard County Sheriff's Office says it does not believe that its deputies were ever targeted during this lengthy standoff, that the off-duty police officer was firing in various directions inside the home. Patrick Kelly. 39-year-old Patrick Kelly went before a judge today. One count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon with domestic violence. The victim telling the sheriff's office Kelly threatened to harm her as well as himself and any responding members of law enforcement. Thank goodness he was not, you know, injured himself in this situation or anyone else for that matter. I mean, flying bullets, anything's possible. We're told Kelly is now suspended without pay from the Cocoa Police Department. Neighbors spoke about the fact it's a member of law enforcement who is now accused. Everyone's human. Everyone goes through certain things, and um, that's not saying that it's you know justified or you know okay. But um, I, you know we're all human at the end of the day, with the badge or with that one. The sheriff's office says Kelly discharged multiple rounds within the residence, which is an added criminal charge. <laughs> After several hours of negotiating, a witness says Kelly was ordered out. Come out with your hands up, and then he came out and. That was pretty much the end of that. Ending hours after it started. In Brevard County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.